episodes of somebody's and that was venting with our I family feel, problems. But I feel like a therapeutic. That feels great. Like you know, and everybody oh, deals with it. It's it's so true. And it, just to go off on more tangents, you know, I had a charity event last night, so it was great to see a bunch of people kind of coming together for a common cause, and it really kind of gave me the idea of community here in H Town that we've cr- created. It's it's been a blast. And then this morning, a a, a family, you know, a friend said it sent out a text about a month ago and said hey you know what i think i'm to the point where i need like some dude time let's go every other friday at 6 a.m at you know the local you know diner or whatever's open at that time so i had that moment today where i was kind of sitting around that table and like you just said we all kind of we you know you're talking sports you're talking politics your world news uh you know the latest like old man treatment to keep you healthy as long as you possibly can oh yeah and sipping coffee and all of a sudden you kind of disperse and go back into your normal lives and about you know an hour later somebody kind of breaks the seal in a text chain and says dude i needed that i don't know why or how or what happened today but i need you just need that 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 uh that outlet to just be able to whether you're wrong or right or you sound like an idiot you just need to be able to open your mouth and just spew some stuff and then all of a sudden you feel that much better like the internal soul just kind of opens up a little bit and you know maybe that's a sign of the times too. I don't know. I think you just put a, uh, a a tagline on our podcast right there. That's exactly what this has been. You know, we don't typically us, get off really on a tangent. Been, yeah. It really has been. I mean, we're year three, and it's like you know what? I had something I wanted to share. Like my wife could give two rats patoots about like uh, the lockout or about mm-hmm. you know whether I'm upset that I'm emptying the dishwasher all the time or you know whatever whatever it is right or whether you know she went to Chicago and I'm here with the kids it's like mm-hmm. you know and and I you know right or wrong to your point I just get to say it on here and yeah there's no filter except the uh Houstonian feedback that we get so anyway yeah cuz you you're you're a man now you're a voice mm-hmm. down here in Houston we actually had the chance if you had a chance to listen to Astro Line the other day it was great to go on there. It was good for me to hang out with Julia Morales because, like you know, Tuttle is saying, you know, you need to get some of these people in your life. And I, I honestly miss TK and Julia because there's a certain rhythm and a certain uh, uh, familiarity with them and a family aspect to it where you can kind of vent like we do and talk the game of baseball and get invigorated that way. Um, and then uh, the interview with Corey Lee was great. And then it was kind of awesome to record that segment with you. And I know the feedback was great. The radio engineer that uh, uh, worked with Mark, our, our producer, to get that uh, that segment out was really good. And it was a lot of fun. So I'm glad that you got on there. I'm glad that you got that voice. I know some of the Twitter action was pretty good, too, uh, uh, commenting on some of those spots. But uh, make sure you go to iHeartRadio, the app, and maybe check out uh, or follow uh, Astros Radio on Twitter because he'll be tweeting out uh, some links to the podcast of that Astro line if you want to get more Tuttle. But that was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was great. And uh, and I think, to your point, I mean, it's just another avenue for not just us, but for the fans to hear your voice in the off season. And, you know, we're all longing for for baseball to come back. And we're, you know, still in that little state of uncertainty. So, uh, yeah, so I'm sure anything you can do in Houston, obviously charity functions, Astro Line, things like that. But it was great to be on, and I appreciate you, uh, appreciate you making that happen. Yeah, hopefully that's just the beginning of it because once this season finally gets going, maybe there's going to be more opportunities. And that did air on the Sports Talk 790, the Astros' flagship. So it wasn't just a pod, another podcast for Tuttle. That was his radio debut. So mm. maybe someday we'll be looking back at that as a, as a debut for uh, this entire podcast crew, which would be a lot of fun to be able to kind of move into that next realm. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you can get notified when we post new videos. 